What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. On today's video, I have an in-depth comparison between the all-new limited edition Sunstorm and one of the GOAT bowling balls that Storm has, the Storm IQ Tour Solid. So make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And if you like this jersey or any of the jerseys in any of my videos, coolwick.com and use my promo code NAPOLIS10. That'll get you 10% off your entire order. And then down below in the description, there's gonna be a link where you can order anything bowling related. I'm not sure if there's any Sunstorms left because it is limited edition, but for sure you can pick up an IQ Tour Solid. And that's one of the best ways to help support the channel. All right, so when I reviewed the Sunstorm, a lot of people asked, how is it gonna compare to the IQ Tour Solid? Because they share the same core. The covers, however, are wildly different. And so today we're gonna talk about it. So they both feature the C3 Centripetal Core, which in 15 pounds is an RG of 2.49, which is on the lower side, and then a max differential of 0.029, which is very, very low. And then wrapped around these is what's gonna be the biggest differences between these. The Sunstorm features the Spec Solid cover stock that comes out of box at a 4K fast finish, but for this comparison, they're both finished at a 2000 because that's the surface that I like them both at. And then the IQ Tour Solid is wrapped around the R2S Solid, which is a significantly weaker formula than what is on the Sunstorm, which comes out of box at a 4,000 finish, but like I said, it's finished at a 2,000 finish. And the layout on both these is exactly the same, being 30 by 4 by 30. So let me know down below in the comments where you're expecting the differences to be between these two bowling balls. To me, I think that it's going to be very simple. The IQ Tour is going to be significantly cleaner through the fronts, produce a little bit more shape or a lot more shape down lane when compared to the Sunstorm. And then also let me know in the comments if you guys were able to get your hands on a Sunstorm and if you weren't, I apologize. I had nothing to do with it. Or if you've ever had an IQ Tour Solid, this is my seventh IQ Tour all time. It's a good one. So we'll be here on lane one at Sam's on a fresh, typical house shot. I'll see you guys on the lanes. All right, first shot of the video here, we're gonna start in the trusty old IQ Tour Solid. Establish a little bit of a baseline. And that's like exactly what you're getting out of an IQ Tour. Just very predictable ball motion. Yeah, I'm already predicting that I'm gonna get way further left with this one than the Sunstorm, just because of that weaker, cleaner, quicker cover. So then this is gonna be the Sunstorm from the same spot. Really take a look at the ball motion differences here on this first shot. I missed right, but it's way smoother than the IQ Tour. And I'm telling you right now, there's gonna be a lot of strikes in this video. Uh, low RG, low differential, smoother balls just strike a lot here at Samstown. I do, however, think that that miss in that I just did with the Sunstorm doesn't strike with the IQ Tour just because of the, the cover strength differences. Oh, all right, back in the IQ Tour. I'm going to start creeping left with it already. Sunstorm, I think I'm going to stay a little straighter. That shot was really, really slow. That's firm up here. There we go. Definitely stay firm and aggressive. All right, back in the sunstorm, just for the sake of the comparison, first shot, I'm gonna go right to where I was with the IQ Tour and then I'll move right. It's just too smooth. Yeah, so these two balls have the same core surface and layout. It's just that cover being so different. Really gonna force me right, keep it in front of me here. There we go. Yeah, for me, for me, this Sunstorm is gonna end up being like a sports shot only ball, nationals, shorter patterns, stuff like that.
All right, so we're six shots in with each ball, the Sunstorm and the IQ Tour Solid. This is a prime example of what actually touches the lane is the cover, not the core. So even though these cores are the same and the layouts are the same, and even the surface is the same, the materials, the formulas in these two bowling balls are making them wildly different. The IQ Tour, I can feel like I can get as far left as I want to or need to really and it's gonna come around the corner, it's gonna go through the pins, where the Sunstorm is really forcing me to stay straight, which again, is not a bad thing. It's just one of those situations where the Sunstorm, for me, isn't really going to be a house shot kind of ball. It's gonna be a ball that I'm gonna save for nationals. I think it's gonna be a great option on the fresh, or anytime I'm bowling on something short where urethane really isn't in play. So, you know, the, when the question comes up of versatility, guys, it's no question, it's the IQ Tour. It's the same issue that I run into when I compare anything to a Phase 2. Comparing anything to an IQ Tour is hard because the IQ Tour is an all-time great bowling ball. All right, back in the IQ Tour, and I'm just going to move another little bit left with this ball. There's no reason why I shouldn't be able to. The ball motion of these are night and day, literally. Oh, I missed in. Is it going to push? Nope. Right, I'm going to go right back to that same spot. Just I threw a bad one the last one, so let's make a better one here. All right, back in the sunstorm. Going to stay a little straighter, keep the ball a little bit more in front of me here. Yeah, I definitely feel like the Sunstorm is way more situational than the IQ Tour. In this situation where you got to keep it in front of you, it's really good. See it? And one more shot from here, and then we'll go back to that IQ Tour. Oh, I knew that flat 10 was coming. All right, back in the IQ Tour, and then we're going to stay shaping this one for sure. Yes, yeah, so I got that one in a little bit. Let's really make an effort to project this one into the friction. Give it a, a good chance here to go flush. Like there. Oh! All right, so let's go in between those shots. Not quite as right, not quite as left. Stay aggressive. Maybe go flush this shot here. All right, back into the sunstorm. That 10 pin was kind of brutal. We're gonna move in a little bit, try to shape it a little and see if we can't finally get into a different zone of this one. There we go. Yeah, like when I think of the Sunstorm, it's just like the ultimate control ball. That's gonna get there. Yeah, the cover's strong enough that I miss in. Let's get it right into the friction and see if it'll recover. So as the lanes are transitioning, you're noticing that I'm able to get further left quicker with the IQ Tour versus the Sunstorm. And to me, I think that's a really big thing because I want to be able to stay ahead of the transition and not forced into like having to stay, like keeping the ball in front of me like I am with the Sunstorm. I am moving a little bit further left now and it is starting to look a little bit better as the lanes are starting to transition. But again, like if I was bowling for score, I would for sure be in the IQ Tour, but I would only throw the Sunstorm on the fresh when there's a lot of friction to the right and volume. It definitely needs volume. That's the big thing. Right, we're going to make another move left here with the IQ Tour. Kind of just shove it right just to see what it does, how it comes off the end of the pattern. Yeah, there we go. 
Yeah, I mean, I've, I've moved left basically every group of shots with the IQ Tour, and it's still going through the pins. Oh, come on. Yeah, it's very surprising that I got it that far right and still came back. Let's try that again. Not as far right. Still see it. All right, so this is the Sunstorm, just for the sake of comparison, from the same spot that I just struck at with the IQ Tour. See how it's way smoother? And like where the IQ Tour went dead flush? Yeah, so I'll stay there for another couple shots. But the big difference is that motion, how the Sunstorm went super light and the IQ Tour just went dead flush. Let's try that again. There we go. Yeah, I mean, if we're gonna strike from here, let's just stay there. It looks cooler when you hook it. That doesn't look cool though. All right, back in the IQ Tour. I'm gonna inch left a little bit here again. We'll creep left again. All right, last shot with the IQ Tour. We're gonna move left again. Hopefully end on a good note from this far left. Fell off, see it? We'll take that garbage. All right, now into the sunstorm. And if it doesn't look good from this far left, I'll move right. Yeah, it's just so chuggy. All right, so I'm gonna move back right to where I think the sunstorm can look really good. It's gonna be from a little bit straighter, getting it into the friction a little sooner. All right, let's move a little straighter than that. All right, so we're gonna move the straightest we've been this entire video, kind of just to see here. There we go. 10 back. All right, yeah, I gotta do that one more time because that was impressive how good that looked. Let's try it again, same spot. So I, it, it's funny, uh, I threw 37 shots this video and the most important ones were shot number 36 and 37. So you guys can see that the Sunstorm, when you get on top of that friction, it rolls good. It doesn't jump off the friction like even the IQ Tour does. Now look, as someone who's on staff with 900 Global, I'm not here telling you guys go out and spend $300, $250, whatever the price is for that sunstorm. What I am saying though is that if you need a ball that's very similar to urethane but is not urethane, that's going to actually shape a little bit, really take a look at getting into that sunstorm. And if you don't want to spend that kind of money, the IQ Tour is one of the greatest balls ever, as you guys can see, and it does a lot of the same things and sometimes even better. One of the things I really like about this core, which maybe we'll dive into in a different video, is the versatility of this core. Because it is a very light bulbish core, you have a lot of room to, ch to play with your layouts. I've drilled these very strong. I've drilled these very weak. I've actually drilled them short pin. And if that's something that you guys wanna see in the future, just let me know in the comments and we'll make it happen. So guys, thank you so much for joining me in the videos. Happy holidays. Thank you guys for all the support in December and throughout my entire journey on YouTube. Thank you very much. Click right here to watch and learn my videos. Click right here to subscribe. Until next time.